This is Ider Comprehensive Specialized Hospital, the largest referral hospital in Tigray. Many patients from different parts of the region visit Ider to receive treatment, but lack of medical supplies has limited the hospital's services. Diabetic patients we met at the hospital say the hospital was once more than equipped to provide them with all the services they needed. But now with the war and the siege at the patients, everything has changed and their health conditions continue to deteriorate. I am diabetic and I have hypertension as well, making me dependent on medication. The supply of medication is in Eider, used to be good and we never suffered from lack of medical supplies. Now there is nothing here. Even private pharmacies don't have the medications. If you ever get lucky and find any, there is no way you can afford it. We are barely receiving treatments here. All they can ever do for us is measure our glucose level and give us consolations. Our patients have been terminated and there is no way to earn money. I used to work as a security guard, but there is no salary. I sold food aid I received and I was able to buy medication, but there is nothing now. We asked the patients what they expected from the agreement signed last week. They say the delivery of humanitarian assistance should be a priority, so as the lives of many like them are saved. An agreement means that there won't be any more dead bodies, that no more people will die. We're glad about this. If the agreement can be implemented on the ground, it's a good thing for us. Even though nothing has arrived so far, we are waiting with hope. Patients don't have the capacity to buy any medication anymore. The deal needs to be implemented as soon as possible, so as the lives of many are saved. We believe there is a good hope now. The delivery of medical supplies shouldn't have waited until an agreement could be signed, but now that it has, it should be priority. Sister Atzadegide, a nurse at the Diabetic Clinic of Eider Hospital, says the past two years of the war have been very painful for her and other health professionals who couldn't help their patients. As other urged an immediate delivery of medications, stressing that at least five in the diabetic clinic have lost their lives since the agreement was signed. It's really painful. Sometimes I wonder why I keep coming to the hospital. But when I arrive and see the patients happy to see me, I feel good. We've lost about five patients in this week alone. I fear that the number could be higher, as we don't know how others who didn't visit are doing. Humanitarian assistance needs to be delivered as soon as possible, because we shouldn't lose any more life. For this patient, one day makes the difference between life and death. The peace agreement signed last week has them hoping that their suffering will come to an end, and they can finally live their lives as they once had.